welcome back to my channel, welcome if you are new, welcome to my random October favourites on a Thursday. Two videos in one week, aren't you lucky? You probably don't really care, but yes. Uh, so this is my random beauty favourite, random beauty favourites, random October favourites. On Monday was my beauty favourites, I will link that video either here or at the end of the video, so make sure to go and watch that after this video. Um, so yeah, again I'm just going to get straight into it. Um, as it's been getting really, really cold recently, I've been loving hot drinks, particularly hot chocolate, but also tea, I have decaf tea, and yeah, so in the mornings I get the, I drive to like a park and ride kind of thing and then get the bus into work, and the bus is blooming cold, so when I went into Primark the other day, I picked up this, it was £3, it's a thermal flask, they had lots of different patterns, but this is the one that I picked up, I just really liked the colours on it, <laughs> um, but this is one of my favourite things ever, and I'm going to be using it for the whole of winter. It keeps my tea or hot chocolate or whatever nice and warm for about an hour and a half to two hours, like drinkable for two hours. Yeah, it's perfect for the bus, it doesn't leak, it's nice and easy to hold, it fits in your cup holder in the car, it fits in my bag if I don't want to carry it. Best thing I've ever bought for the whole of October. Highly recommend, and they have some really, really cute little colours and patterns and things as well, so go get a thermal flask from Primark for £3. Second, I'm a little bit late on the bandwagon with this one, it is um, Zoe's, Zoe's put girl online. Um, I know she has brought out her second one, and I got this about a year ago, I think I got it last Christmas. Just, I was a bit like, oh I don't know if it's going to be that good, like, it's not my type of book basically, I much prefer like thrillers and crime novels and things I'm not really into, the chick flick, girly, love story kind of books but um, I didn't have anything else to read and I just was in the mood to read a book I had a bubble bath and I was like do you know what I'm just gonna give it a go I was hooked like it was really really good not like I said nothing like anything else that I would normally read um, and I was really surprised I liked it but I think because it was so easy to read and it was nice and quick to read that I kind of just want to keep reading it just to finish it just to see what happens like the chapters kind of lead into each other and I really like that. It flows really, really well. She's written it really well, so well done Zoe. I now really want her other one. I really want to read it and I've really surprised myself. So if you haven't read this, because it's not really your kind of cup of tea, you're a bit like, oh, it's a bit of a like YouTuber thing, like, it's, don't know if it's going to be that good. It's really good. Like, seriously, read it. That is a phone app. It is the app. Um, it's like a notes app. It's called Evernote. I'll do a close-up of the app picture here. You can send notes to each other. I found this when I met up with one of my other YouTuber friends and she sent me loads of notes that she'd got through it and I was like, what is this thing? It's incredible. Like, you can attach pictures to it, you can, like, attach websites to it, you can... It's amazing. Like, you can have notes inside notes, so you can have, like, a list of themed notes inside your notes. It's just incredible, I love it. I'm addicted to it and now I find myself sitting there thinking I really want to make a note about something but I don't know what to make a note about. It's perfect for a blogger or a YouTuber because you can have like, like I did with my Halloween ones, I had loads of pictures of things that I wanted to use and like ideas, like it's, you can kind of make mood boards on it, it's really really good, I love it. Highly recommend it if you are list obsessed and note obsessed, like I now am with this app. Finally, the fourth thing I've been randomly loving this month, because it's been quite dark in the mornings, now the clocks have gone back, um, I've started really liking waking up to the radio. Now, I am not a morning person at all. Ask anyone that knows me and they will tell you that you don't talk to me in the morning until I talk to them. I'm just not a nice person in the morning at all. Um, but I've found waking up to an alarm kind of doesn't help that. Like a the jerk of waking up really quickly just doesn't put me in a good mood for like the day um, and it's nice just to slowly wake up to it it kind of means I slowly wake up and I can listen to it and yeah I just really like it, I can't really put it into words it's just a nicer way to wake up more relaxing, like not as stressful yeah I just really like it and because it's dark outside as well you don't really want to wake up and it's just a nicer way to slowly I hope you understand what I'm trying to say. It's just much nicer than waking up to a like really loud alarm. Um, so yeah, I listen to heart radio in the mornings 
uh, obviously you can listen to any radio station you want. Yeah, I've just been really enjoying that. And that is my October random favourite. So I hope you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up if you did. And leave me a comment down below, what is the most random favourite thing that you've had this month? I'd love to know. Um, and I will see you on Monday with my next video. Bye-bye!